In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals x squared plus 4 over x plus 2. Now, the numerator doesn't factorise. Uh, that's greater than 0 for all real values of x. And so there's nothing I can really do to that expression. OK, so we have to go straight in with the sketch. So vertical asymptotes exist when the denominator is 0. That's at minus 2. So x equals minus 2. is a vertical asymptote. Now, where does it cross the x-axis? That's when the numerator is 0. Well, the numerator can never be 0, so we don't cross the x-axis. How about where it crosses the y-axis? That's when x is 0. So 4 over 2 is 2. So we're definitely crossing there. Right, now for the oblique asymptote. So dividing uh, x squared plus 4 by x plus 2. That's going to be x squared, so that's going to have to be x 2x, we don't want any x's, we've got to take away 2x. x is into that go minus 2. Minus 2, lots of 2 is minus 4. We want 4, so we're going to have to add on 8. So 8 is the remainder. And so this is equal to x take away 2 plus 8 over x plus 2. So that means that the oblique asymptote is y equals x take away 2. Okay, so that's minus 2, and that'll be 2. Right, now does the curve cross the oblique asymptote? So we're going to put x squared plus 4 over x plus 2 equal to x take away 2. So multiplying up by the x plus 2, we get x squared plus 4 must be equal to x squared take away 4, difference of two squares, and so that would mean that 4 would have to be equal to minus 4, which it clearly isn't. And so the curve does not cross that oblique asymptote. So that must mean that the curve comes down from here through 2 and then must tend towards the oblique asymptote. And in a similar way, it must tend towards those two lines there as well. OK? And so that is what our curve must look like.